what is up icp squad welcome back to another video today we're going to talk about decentralized exchanges on the internet computer <laughs> And remember guys, if you like our content, make sure to sign up to our newsletter at definitycommunity.com. Like and subscribe and leave a comment. There's also a contest going on. So three people are going to get one ICP each based on the best comment. So write down your best comment. If you like this video, if you don't like this video, comment below and get a chance to win one ICP for three people. And remember guys, none of this is financial advice. Us here at Definity Community are all ICP enthusiasts, not financial advisors. So do your own research, do what's best for you. And none of this is financial advice. It is technical advice, uh, do what's best for you. So we've all heard of DEXs, decentralized exchanges, an exchange that is not an entity, it's not a corporation, it simply runs supposedly on chain and you trade your coin for another coin, it always stays in your wallet. And that's the point of a decentralized exchange. There's only one problem with this notion. A lot of the popular DEXs that are running right now have a front end running on Web 2.0. This means that they can be running on Amazon Web Services or other services and not truly 100% on chain. And that's what we're going to be discussing today. We're going to talk about Sonic Dex decentralized exchange and why this new wave of DEXs running on the internet computer is far superior to the old half Web 2.0 half blockchain architecture of decentralized exchanges. So number one, reason number one on why using Sonic is better than using other DEXs on other blockchains is the main reason that I just said, it runs 100% on chain. The actual exchange is on the IC network and it doesn't depend on other networks. So just like we're trying to get away from Amazon, getting away from Facebook, getting away from Google and all of these corporations, we also need to get away from their services, Google website services, Amazon Web Services, we can't be depending on them. We have to depend on crypto and being on the blockchain. Sonic Dex runs entirely on blockchain. So you have web speed and the contracts front end and back end all running on the blockchain. That is reason number one and the best and most important reason. Reason number two, burning of ICP. In other traditional exchanges and in traditional DEXs, you have a swapping of one coin to another coin. For example, swapping of whatever your favorite coin is to to US dollar tether. You swap them and that's it. One person gets one token, one person gets another token. A new feature that Sonic brings to the table is minting cycles. So not only are you not using the traditional US dollar tethers or US dollar coins or whatever, but you are not swapping for the coin, you are minting cycles. So why is this important? This is very important because, because you are burning ICP. You're removing your ICP from circulation by freezing their value and turning them into cycles. So for those of you that don't know, cycles are the fuel that powers the internet computer. It's how you run D apps and the value of the cycles remains constant at around 1.40 United States dollar. In this exchange, they're called XTC. These are the cycles. So because you swap your ICP for cycles, you burn them in order to do that mint and you remove them from circulation. As of this day, over 64,000 ICP have been burned by using Sonic. Imagine if we get the number of users to increase and you'd not only swap your ICP for a stable coin, but you burn your ICP for a stable coin. This is fantastic. I've never seen this before in other exchanges or other systems. So you turn your ICP into value, you store the value in a stable way, and you remove them from circulation at the same time. What a better way to do it. That is my top second reason, burning of ICP into cycles. Now, the only way to get them back is through swapping. So you don't un burn the ICP, you simply swap it for existing ICP back when you need the ICP back. What does this do? This creates just a burning supply of ICP, speculating on that until the D apps require the cycles, in which case they come, they purchase the cycles, and they burn the cycles to run their D apps. Imagine how insane it would be if we get to burning 1 million ICPs just on liquidity pools and trading pools alone. Reason number three, goodbye US dollar tether. Now, I'm not against US dollar tether i use it all the time it has the most volume in most exchanges but there has been fud in the past which could be true or it could not be true we really don't know but there's been a lot of fud whether us dollar tether is backed by actual assets whether it's okay for it to be backed by crypto whether there's going to be legal ramifications once stable coins begin to be regulated and using sonic this is all solved because they use xtc and not us dollar tether as their stable coin
value. This way you're depending on computational value to run the internet computer rather than USDT. Again, some of you might not be concerned about the future of USDT, but if you are, reason number three, bye bye US dollar tethers, a low computational cycles through XTC. With all that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at how to use Sonic, how to swap for XTC, etc. Let's take a look at the tutorial below. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and go to this tutorial. All you have to do is open your web browser. For example, I'm using a Google Chrome and type sonic.ooo. That is three O's. Once you do that, uh, go ahead and click launch app and it's going to take you to the swapping app. Alrighty guys, in this example, my wallet is already logged in since I was working on it a little bit beforehand. But if it's not logged in, it's going to say connect to plug. You do need plug wallet. That is this plugin. If you don't have it, there's going to be a link right here to download it. So go ahead and download it and install it onto your browser. Now, if you don't have any funds in there, you're going to click right here, click deposit. And there's going to be two IDs. There's going to be the principal ID and this other account ID. The account ID is the most normal common one to send money so for example if you're depositing money from an exchange go ahead and use this account id if you have another plug wallet and want to change money that way you can use your principal id but most of the time from exchanges and from stoic wallet and stuff like that you're going to use this id right here so that's how you deposit money into uh that account okay so once you do that guys this is the swap feature it's how to swap one thing from another it's very simple very straightforward you're going to select icp wicp which is wrapped ICP and XTC. That is the token I was talking about called Cycles. That one is a form of fuel that powers the internet computer and they're always worth the same amount of money. So whether the price of ICP goes up or down, the cycles remain relatively stable. They're pegged to a specific banking currency that is a basket of a bunch of fiat currency. So mostly it fluctuates around 1.40 United States dollars or therein based on the purchasing power. It's a form of computation stable coin ICP is just a normal ICP and WICP is uh, the wrapped ICP all you have to do to swap is select the token so for example I have ICP and let's say I want some cycles so I'll click on that now this is very important and pay close attention there's a little percentage thing right here with an information number on it so once you click that it's gonna give you this message this price and percentage shows the current difference between minting and swapping XTC from ICP if negative it's better to swap if positive it's better to mint so what does that mean that means that whenever you mint cycles you are burning your icp as stated previously in the video over 64,000 icp have been burnt does that mean you always want to just burn icp no now be very careful so for example i'm going to click right here uh i'm going to click one icp if you notice right here it says negative 22.88 what does that mean that means that my icp is worth around 17 but if I mint cycles, it's going to give me around $13 worth of minted cycles. That means it's a little bit off. So what do you do in order to solve that? Well, in order to solve that, instead of minting, we are going to want to do swapping. In order to do that, you're going to need WICP. Let's go ahead and click WICP. We're going to do one. So let's do, let's do like one. Can I do? Yeah, let's do 1.1 and we're going to convert it into uh, WICP and we're going to go ahead and swap it. All right. So we're going to go ahead and wrap our ICP. So now that we have wrapped ICP, we can swap wrapped ICP for cycles. And what that does is it does a swap. If you notice our previous price to create cycles was around $13 for one ICP instead of giving us like $17. Well, now that we have this, we can exchange our cycles. And if you notice, it's just about the same. Now there is gonna be a small fee and that fee goes to the liquidity pool. I'll explain to you guys how to use that pool in just a second. So right here, it was better for us to convert it to uh, WICP and then from WICP swap it instead of minting into cycles. So let's go ahead and convert some of it into cycles. And I'm going to go ahead and click confirm. Congratulations, you now have more cycles at a preferable price. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the liquidity. So what is liquidity? Liquidity is when you provide your own resources to that pool. So what we used is called a pool, which uses an automated market maker, which then exchanges one thing for another, and it kind of balances itself out. What you do when you provide liquidity is you provide one asset and you also provide the other asset. And when people exchange that asset, 
you get a portion of those fees. In this case, you get a 0.3% fee and the people who provide liquidity are going to get this fee. Let's go ahead and click create position. So right here in create position, I have my WICP and I have my cycles. So right here, let's go ahead and click max. If you notice, it automatically balances out. So I put 0.55 ICP and it balances that with 8.77 cycles. You always want to do this because if you add more of one token, it's going to unbalance it and it's not going to be cost effective for you. If you add the other token, it's going to do the same thing, but backwards. So it's always good to put one token and the other token in the same value to leave the balance. Then when people swap, it changes the market based on demand. So let's click review supply. So we're going to go ahead and provide this liquidity and I'm going to click confirm supply. Again, you have to confirm with your plug wallet and you are now going to be a stakeholder in the liquidity pool for WICP and cycles. So anytime somebody goes into this pool and exchanges cycles for WICP or WICP for cycles, you're going to get a small portion of those fees. So you can just leave your money in there, let it rest, earn some money. It might even be more than what you would win staking. So do the math guys, go research how much can you get and stuff. I would like it if there were kind of some estimates shown on the website. I think because it's so early, there's not that many estimates, but we're going to go ahead and do this for research tutorial purposes. Congratulations. You now have a portion in the liquidity pool. One more thing to add, there are airdrops for Sonic or there were airdrops. They have already done round one of the airdrops in which users were asked to provide liquidity for the network, do one test transactions among some other verifications. And I think around 17,000 people have received these airdrops. There will be more. There are rumored to be more and just keep updated on the Sonic Twitter page and Discord to find out about when the next airdrop is and how you can take part of ownership in the next generation of decentralized exchanges. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys make lots of money and stake your ICP or uh, do your own research and do what's best for you. But thank you for watching our video, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Sign up to our newsletter at DefinityCommunity.com and see you guys next time.